Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road, you ask? To get to the royal palace, of course. But when he got there, the guards sent him straight to the coop. The British coronation is a ceremony where the monarch is crowned at Westminster Abbey by Archbishop of Canterbury. It is a symbolic event that does not mark the start of the reign, which begins when the previous monarch dies. The coronation usually happens months after, to allow for mourning and planning. The last coronation was of Elizabeth II in 1953. The next one will be of Charles III and Camilla on the 6th of May 2023. In this video, we will skim over the previous 10 coronations and discover some fascinating tidbits along the way. Elizabeth II's coronation was held on June 2, 1953 at Westminster Abbey in London. It was the first coronation to be televised, with millions of people around the world tuning in to watch the historic event. This marked a significant moment in the history of mass media and helped to cement the Queen's popularity and global appeal. The crown that Elizabeth II wore was made for her father, King George VI, but it had to be adjusted to fit her smaller head. The ceremony was filled with symbolism, such as the anointing with holy oil while seated on the coronation chair, the presentation of the royal scepter and orb, and the crowning itself. One interesting fact is that the Archbishop of Canterbury accidentally knocked the crown off the Queen's head during the ceremony. After the coronation, a procession through the streets of London was held, with the new Queen riding in the Gold State coach. The famous coronation chicken recipe was first created to be served at the coronation luncheon in 1953. George VI's coronation was held on May 12, 1937, also at Westminster Abbey. His coronation was notable for its sombre tone, as it came just a few months after the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII. George VI's wife, Elizabeth, was the first Queen Consort to attend a coronation since the 17th century. The coronation was the first to be broadcast on radio, with millions of people around the world tuning in to listen to the historic event. During the ceremony, George VI's crown fell off his head while he was being crowned, but he managed to replace it without any mishaps. The king's orb, a symbol of his power and authority, was also dropped during the ceremony, but fortunately was not damaged. George V's coronation was held on June 22, 1911, and it was the first coronation to be filmed. The ceremony was a lavish affair, with over 8,000 guests in attendance. One interesting fact is that his older brother, Prince Albert Victor, was originally in line for the crown, but he died before he could inherit it. Another interesting fact is that the coronation was almost postponed due to a coal miners' strike, but the dispute was resolved in time for the ceremony to go ahead as planned. The ceremony included traditional elements such as the anointing with holy oil and the crowning with the St. Edward's crown. Edward VII's coronation was held on August 9, 1902, and it was notable for its relative simplicity compared to previous coronations. Edward VII wanted to distance himself from the opulence of his mother, Queen Victoria's coronation, and so he opted for a more low-key ceremony. One interesting fact is that the Archbishop of Canterbury mistakenly placed the St. Edward's crown on the king's head back to front. Edward's wife, Queen Alexandra, wore a coronation robe that was embroidered with the national flowers of England, Scotland and Ireland. The balcony appearance, as the finale of Coronation Day, was inaugurated by Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. Victoria's coronation was held on June 28, 1838, and it was the first coronation to take place after the introduction of the railways, which allowed people from all over the country to attend. Victoria was just 18 years old at the time and she wore a dress for the occasion made of white satin and trimmed with gold lace and pearls, instead of the traditional crimson robe. Victoria was the first monarch to use the new imperial state crown, which was made specially for her coronation. The event was a lavish affair, 
with over 4,000 guests in attendance and a procession that lasted for hours. The coronation of King William IV took place on September 8, 1831, and it was a relatively simple ceremony compared to previous coronations. However, there were some notable moments during the ceremony, such as when the Archbishop of Canterbury accidentally knocked over the golden chalice during the administration of the sacrament. William despised the ceremony and acted throughout as if he was a character in a comic opera, making a mockery of what he thought to be a ridiculous charade. The coronation was attended by thousands of people, including many from the lower classes, who were able to witness the event thanks to the introduction of affordable public transport. George IV's coronation was held on July 19, 1821, and it was marked by controversy and scandal. George IV was known for his extravagant lifestyle and his affair with a married woman, which led to his wife, Queen Caroline, being barred from attending the coronation. The ceremony itself was also marred by political protests, and the king had to wear a special suit of armor to protect himself from possible assassination attempts. It was a spectacular event that cost over £240,000 to stage, which was an enormous sum of money at the time. One interesting fact is that George IV's coronation was the first to feature a medieval-style procession, with the king riding in a gold coach and wearing a coronation robe costing over £12,000 alone. George III's coronation was held on September 22, 1761, and it was a traditional ceremony with all the usual trappings, including the anointing with holy oil, the presentation of the royal regalia, and the coronation itself. It was a grand event, with thousands of people lining the streets to watch the procession. One interesting fact is that the king's mother, Augusta of Saxe-Gotha, was not allowed to attend the coronation due to a dispute with the Archbishop of Canterbury. The coronation was delayed for several months due to the king's illness, which caused him to have several fits of madness. George II's coronation was held on October 11, 1727, and it was a grand affair with over 2,000 guests in attendance. The coronation was notable for the elaborate decorations in Westminster Abbey, which included a replica of St. Edward's crown, made entirely of flowers. One interesting fact is that the king's wife, Queen Caroline, was heavily involved in the planning of the coronation, and she even wrote a detailed account of the ceremony in her diary. The king wore a coronation robe that was made of crimson velvet and embroidered with gold. One interesting fact is that George II's coronation was the first to feature a choir of boys from the Chapel Royal, which has now become a traditional part of the ceremony, where Handel's coronation anthem is played. George V's coronation took place on October 20, 1714, and it was a lavish affair that lasted three days. The ceremony included traditional elements such as the anointing with holy oil, and the crowning with the St. Edward's crown, as well as a grand procession through the streets of London. He could not speak very much English, and the ceremonies had to be conducted mostly in Latin, as his ministers could not speak German. Another interesting fact is that during the coronation banquet, a dispute broke out between the new king and his son, the Prince of Wales, future George II, over who should have precedence at the table, reflecting the strained relationship between the two men. The coronation was not particularly popular with the public, and it was actually marked by considerable riots. George I was the first monarch from the House of Hanover to be crowned as King of Great Britain. This concludes our brief revisit on the last ten British coronations. It will be interesting to see how King Charles III's coronation, taking place on the 6th of May 2023, compares to previous coronations in terms of tradition and spectacle.